Uh, my name is Kylin. I'm 11 years old. I'm Brian. Uh, I'm a first year student at NUS, Faculty of Arts and Social Science. We are cousins, but uh, ever since um, her father and my uncle uh, passed away when she was three, uh, we started looking after her and she became my god sister. I've always wanted a younger sibling and uh, when I finally got to, to take care of her, uh, it felt very different to see someone um, other than yourself experiencing childhood. Towards the circuit breaker, um, we brought Kailing over to our place because um, she needed to do... It was a sudden switch from um, physical lessons to home-based learning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and she didn't have a computer back home at, at that time. So we, we brought her over to our place. Kailing, what was that like for you? How did, how did, how did you feel about going to Brian's place? Um, mix, because... Uh, um, the bad thing is because I miss my mother and my friends and also I, I don't like HBL because I rather I prefer to uh, meet my teachers and friends um, in person mm. and, but, uh, and the good thing is um, that I that my auntie is... Uh, teaching me more often and I get to watch more movies. I think the problem is that um, as we shifted um, to sort of working from home and home-based learning, it was difficult to sort of um, to do your own scheduling where you actually have like a fixed break. So for Kailing, um, there was a fixed period where she would go to the canteen and have recess. But during home-based learning, there wasn't uh, any such things. So um, things got a lot more flexible but then at the same time um, you can end up working the whole day without even realizing it. Yeah, I was actually thinking this morning, I was thinking what about PE? Before circuit breaker they gave us like one paper so it's basically like on jump jacks, uh, push-ups and sit-ups I think. Yeah. Um, they had a reminder so they asked us to like do these kinds of activities like every single day. You had to do push-ups every single day? I, yeah, but like, it's like I never do those. <laughs> <laughs> technically, yes, but... <laughs> but also technically, no. <laughs> so I have a picture here, which is of you and a bird. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit more about this bird? Um, he is my cousin's pet. And he's, he's a boy, I think. Mr. Buddy really reminds me of um, the previous love bird that I had when I was in primary school. So, and I think um, Kailin grew really attached to him as well over the two months. So, um, this is one of my, my favorite photos where I was, while taking photographs, I was teaching her how to shower Mr. Buddy. Can you tell us a bit more about this photo? Oh, I was doing Zoom with my math. I know, my science teacher. And, and Brian, obviously you, you took this photo. Um, what was it like, you know, being part of Kylan's everyday life and taking photos of her? What was it like kind of being a photographer and also kind of being part of her life? Personally, I find it difficult to photograph people whom you're close to. Yeah. Because um, sometimes the quieter and more person emotional moments tend to impact you more. So um, some of the moments where she got actually quite stressed out and um, when my mum uh, scolded her a lot as well. <laughs> yeah, I, some of those moments I, I thought it would be best to leave it private. I think that's something really unique about your photos. You're kind of like, you're a photographer but you're also like involved and you're teaching and you're talking to her. Can you tell me a bit more um, about this photo? Because this photo in the exhibition is going to be really big. Um, so I know you're making something there, but what is it? Why are you looking through it? Uh, uh, because he asked me to. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you knew that he was taking photos of you, right? Uh -huh. How did you feel? Was it embarrassing or was it fun? It was like fun. Do you think you've kind of learned anything from taking these photographs of Kailin? 
I've been taking photos of her when uh, we started looking after her when she was three. So I think now she's 11, so that's eight years now. It's an ongoing personal project for me to sort of document her and the moments that she spends with us. She has different um, reactions, behaviours every day. So I guess that kind of helped me a bit. So I think there was one photograph that I fondly remember of her actually um, waving and saying hello to people on the street. I actually liked that the most because um, it was really spontaneous. Uh, I think she was doing homework and she got really bored. So she started to draw and then um, when she saw someone, she started to wave and like say hello to the person on the street. And how many people waved back on average, do you think? I think not a single one of them waved back. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> I would wave back. And Kylan, what do you want to say to all the people who are going to come and see your photographs and see what Brian has done? Um, I want to say hope you like it. Maybe they will they will be inspired 